Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, as of now, the labor union officials can serve in office for as many terms as possible, provided they have been elected, duly elected and re-elected. You can serve even 20 years, 30 years. Bora tu umepigiwa kura. But with this move, we have seen people like Kotu, Secretary General Franz Atuoli, staying in office for long. Atuoli, Atuoli got to office in 2001. So, wa wangapi wako It is 23 years since then. He has been Kotu SG. This is a very long serving person in that uh, organization. Now, through the union, themselves, they can <clears throat> work in unison to remove France at all if they feel that it's not uh, working for their interest. So workers, when they know that they can no longer work for, uh, at all is no longer working for the people, because that's the thing of many people, they can remove him. Because KOTU is one of the registered workers' organization, which is a private entity organized by the United Nations and ILO. Though with this move, we have never seen a change. So, Migori Senator Eddie Okech has sponsored a bill which is said to introduce term limits for labor union officials. That is the, the Labor Relation Amendment Bill 2024. And in that bill, you see people like Atwoli and others will be definitely affected. And tell you how long Atwoli has been serving, I was reading some comments. And this comment can really explain exactly here to understand how long Atwoli has served. Let me just read this comment, then we are going to continue to understand way forward. This one is uh, Council Muhammad. Until I became an advocate, I thought Kotu is at Wally's company. Juma James, immediately after I was born, I was told Kotu is at Wally's personal property. Eddie Owino, kwani Kotu haikukua, haikuangi jina, ingine ya at Wally. So this kind of comments point to a direction that, you know, people even think that ni jina ya at Wally, ni kampuni ya at Wally, ni mali ya at Wally, things like those ones. So definitely, he has been there for very long. So the question is, eh, how possible will this bill go through? We need to see the light of the day. That is the question we want to look into. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. Subscribe as a Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back this discussion. Now you see the moving the nut is it nut? SG it was not easy it was not easy so Sion was not easily removed but was shown the door he had betrayed the union itself at what is doing same when he was asked to comment on Dr. Strike his remarks on Citizen TV. He is in defense of Hudo. They are asking him why is it that Hudo cannot have money for doctors, yet he has enough money to renovate state house and state lodge across the country. Money to a tune of a billion. And I say, Ruto Nikijana, where is it? Priorities. So definitely, he is in defense of the government. He has become a government spokesperson, defender, and all that, but not for the people. And this bill can explain the reason why Atwoli has never been in opposition, despite the fact that during campaign, especially when we have a transition government or transition campaign whereby someone is leaving office, going for retirement, another one has to come. You would see Atwoli supporting the person may feel that is the right person. Definitely by supporting Raila Odinga. 2013 and talk about 2022. 
at the elections. Raila has stood with the workers. He has talked for them. So Atoni has no option but try to realign him with Raila Odinga. But immediately after every election, Atoni will be on the government side. He will sneak to the government whether you like or not. Alikuwa na uhuru. Saida kapigia Raila campaign. Vile mambo ya elefanzika vile ya lienda karuka hako na ruto. Atuwezi ya mini ni yule. Why? Because he always want the protection of the state. He knows that he cannot survive when he is out of the government. But when he supports the government, that's how he is going to be protected. So this explains the reason why Atuoli is in the government. So for the workers, there is something you have to learn going forward. <laughs> Atuoli does not de defend you. Ask yourself, why is he rushing in the government every time? That you have to be in the government for you to negotiate. He is going to look for protection in the government because he is so much determined to betray you as long as the government is going to protect his position as the SG. Otherwise, hangi kwa nakibia kwa serikali, hangi kwa nakana wanainchi. So, Kotu is losing a meaning, is losing the purpose, the agenda, and the Kenyan workers have big problem. There is no one to stand with them apart from Raila Odinga who has been there in opposition. So you wonder between the opposition leader and the Kotu boss, who should be defending workers and speaking for them? Things like those. So with this move, you can definitely tell, will this bill see the light of the day? Definitely. At all, I end up a camera and give it to you. And then, Ruta Takubali, Kura, any bill come here, it will be. Friends, at all, I end up in It will not. Why? Because they have the numbers in the Senate. The Senate can be influenced. Yes, we know at one point, why in as mama, but in many things, they are being controlled by State House, executive. So executive will control. This can be discussed. They can have public participation. But my friend, passing this bill is a nightmare. It will not see the light of the day. Simply because Ruto needed the support of Atwoli. And you saw Atwoli campaigning for Raila in Western and elsewhere. Yes, he did it. But now the focus is elsewhere. William Ruto needs this kind of a person because now he has to come in with that perception that court to members, the union members, are with the Atwoli. So the perception is something that Ruto is working on and that's what he wants. So as long as you see Atwoli standing and saying Ruto ako sawa and Atwoli tumpe kura, the entire union is in support of William Samway Ruto. So already Atwoli has immuned himself by kneeling before William Ruto for protection. And today he is like Isaac Maura, the government spokesperson. He speaks for the government, but not for the workers. So this is a good bill. We should be supported, sponsored by our Senator Eddie Okech. But it might not pass because of those obvious reasons. And you see, when someone overstay in such position, the union cannot grow. When you overstay, the vision is even lost. And that's exactly what is happening here. So it is also upon the workers to, uni, to, uni, to unite together in a unison so that they can be heard, make a decision to remove a twirly. But as long as they cannot speak for themselves, as long as they cannot organize themselves, it is going to be hard to remove a twirly. Haita Kuarais. Otherwise, in a twirly, I position size in a bill come in a sponsored. My friend, tomorrow he will be home. So he knows how to play his cards where to stay, who to support. So, definitely, 
There is a lot of personal interest in Atuli as the SG of court. His personal interest supersede the interest of the workers. And then the problem we are having. I don't know your views. But let us make in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video. Thank <laughs> you.